Hello everybody. I feel like I say this every new video I make now, but it's been a while. Um, I am in Kings Canyon National Park about to do the Ray Lakes Loop backpacking trip, and it's a very popular backpacking trip. Uh, permits in the summer are usually very hard to get. However, it's a little different now because it is October. So in Sequoia and Kings Canyon, um, usually starting September, they allow you to self-issue your permits and there's no quota at the trailhead. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm at Road's End right now. i um, about to go grab my permit and, and head into the wilderness. I did try to do this loop about two months ago, mid-August, and um, it was going to be one of those, you know, just kind of conditioning things, just kind of sweat it out and rebuild your legs a little bit, and I badly sprained my ankle. So I've got a little bit of an ankle brace on right now, and I'm going to be going a lot slower than I usually go. So we'll see how many miles I do per day. Also, there's less light. Um, this is about the first time where I felt comfortable even trying this with the ankle injury. It's mostly healed. It's just a little weak. So it will bother me by the end of the day, and it is more prone to injury, so i got to be a little careful. Um, and it's probably the last week I can do this comfortably as the temperatures are going to drop like 10 to 20 degrees at night. So that was a long intro. I'm going to get going. Okay, this is the Road's End Ranger Station. Um, I was here a couple weeks ago just to look at it, and they had the self-issue permits out here on the, uh, the porch. I just talked to another backpacker and he said they aren't there. So I'll uh, try to figure this out. So again, this is road, it, Road's End. Uh, there's a parking lot and bear boxes, and I stored all my stuff in bear boxes. Now I have to find a permit. Okay. Um, so I want to get hiking too, but I think this is useful information. I just packed, backtracked to Cedar Grove. The campground's open for like another week. I knocked on the campground office, and um, they said that once the permits at Road's End are gone, they're gone, and you can just go. So, I'm just going to go. And here's a pro tip if you've never been to Road's End part of Kings Canyon. The gnats here down in the valley are pretty bad. I guess even into late October. So, uh, bring your bug net. You're definitely going to be using it for if you start this trailhead the first part of your hike. Look! It's fall! Getting some fall colors. I live in Southern California, so you only get these in the mountains. Looks like that might be an oak tree. So this is still, let me wide zoom. This is still on that trail heading towards Bub Creek and Bub's Creek and Paradise Valley. About two miles in, coming out of a nice wooded area now. You can see the, the creek. Uh, I've got my trail junction. I believe that creek to my right is the confluence of Bub's Creek and Woods Creek, two creeks that make this loop basically. And here is my trail junction. At the junction, I'm taking a left following the South Fork of the Kings River and Woods Creek in a clockwise fashion around the loop, rejoining via Bubbs Creek. And why am I saying this is a voiceover? Between the six hour drive to get there and the permit situation, I got kind of flustered and was continuously confusing Bubbs and Woods Creek throughout most of the day. Eventually I figure it out. So I will be going to the left, going up here, um, which is the Bubs Creek Trail, and I'll be coming back um, via this, the Sphinx Trail Junction from the other direction. Okay, very early on in the Bubs Creek Trail, but in one of my favorite sections for, for many reasons. A, there's shade. Um, unfortunately, there's still lots of gnats in this section. Uh, there's shade, but there's also this cool, almost riparian vegetation, you know, vegetation that only grows where there's a lot of water. Uh, in the summertime, it's really, really green, but it is fall and the ferns are kind of drying out. Looking back at the canyon towards the direction I came from, you can see all this granite here. I am getting closer to mist falls. These are my least favorite things in the world, big granite steps. Um, mist falls, and that is where usually you usually lose the day hikers. 
a lot of people day hike out to this. You can kind of hear the creek is getting a little bit more waterfally anyway. And there are these beautiful pools in there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Look at this. As the sign here says, Mist Falls. It's really impressive that it's a beautiful looking waterfall. Zoom in a little bit this late in the year. Just imagine that with spring snow melt be covering all of that granite slide there. And then you can see still got those beautiful clear pools down here. They look really inviting, but they are really cold. Oh, it's a king snake. The face already went in. It had these beautiful red stripes. <laughs> I'm really excited to see it because I usually just see like rattlesnakes and gopher snakes on the trail. Oh, I've, I wish I got the head. It was very beautiful. But I am frightening the snake, so I'm going to keep going. <sighs> it's just past the waterfall. Climbing up. You can hear the water right next to me. Just more up. Oh, it poked its head out. Fall Canyon, fall colors. Whew, I'm out of breath. That's, it's, it's a lot of climbing, this first part of the trail. Um, fall colors in the canyon. That is really cool. I'm usually not here this time of year. So I've never seen this. I like it. I should be getting closer to Paradise Valley and uh, things will get a lot easier. Paradise Valley is much more gradual of a, of a climb. Maybe that's why it's called Paradise Valley. It's so nice. Oh, it is fall now. <laughs> um, so I just took a break by, by the, the creek there and all those yellow trees around me. Um, but I wanted to stop here because I'm dropping down into Paradise Valley. And this is the scene of the crime right here. This is where I injured myself uh, two weeks ago. Not two weeks, two months. Um, so I hate st granite steps, like I said. Um, so I usually use these side ones. This rock I hit in a weird way, and I forget if I rolled this way or that way first, but I rolled one way first, and then I overcompensated the other way, and whatever the second one was, um, that took the full brunt of my weight. So I will be going down these very, very carefully. Man, Paradise Valley is such a relief after uh, climbing all that granite to get to this area. It's forested um, and relatively flat. So I'm going a lot faster. It goes by the creek um, pretty closely. And so there's a lot of water access. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot of those, uh, a little bit of up and downs, but none of those annoying like granite climbs or anything. So just a nice pleasant stroll through this section as a reward for that hard climb up here. Looks like by these trails and this sign that doesn't have a sign, uh, this is probably the upper uh, Paradise Valley camping area, which means I've hit the uh, last of Paradise Valley. There were a couple climbs to get to the upper one. Nothing uh, like the climbs to get to the valley itself. So I do have some time until sunset. You can see it's sunny up there. It's just not sunny here. Um, so I think I'm going to keep going. Uh, I do have to cross the South Fork of the Kings River and it will be a ford. Uh, I think it was 2017, a uh, big snow year. I think it was 2017, I'm not sure about the year, but uh, there used to be a bridge over the South Fork of the Kings River and that has washed out and not been repaired. So that will be a ford. As you can see, it's mostly an empty riverbed right here. And then just downstream, is where the bridge used to be. So I might not even have to ford this. I'm kind of looking, uh, I think there might be a rock hopping path just over here. 
so that would be nice. And dry feet. <laughs> uh, one of the advantages to hiking this time of year, last time I did this, it was like uh, midsummer maybe. It was definitely a ford. I just gotta get back to the actual trail. Um, and then I imagine during spring uh, snow melt, that might not even be possible. But didn't even get my feet wet on October. So I just realized I'm an idiot. Um, anyone watching this video, I'm sure I've corrected it beforehand, but uh, it's Woods Creek to the north. Bubs is the one to the south. So I'm currently on the Woods Creek Trail and I will be coming back the Bubs Creek Trail. So I'm gonna be on the Woods Creek Trail until it um, intersects with John Muir Trail. And that will be, <laughs> that will get to that intersection tomorrow. Um, so it's a little bit of a mess after you cross the South Fork of the Kings. Uh, so just be careful. So I'm just gonna hike a little further down and see if I can find a place to camp. Okay, I can see the light fading and I did not go very far. Um, on this side of the, I'm gonna adjust that a little bit. <laughs> it's a sad setup. Um, but this was the uh, first campsite. You see, that's as far as I can zoom. It's got a fire ring there, so it's obviously been used before. First lo looked like campable area since the crossing. Lots of dead trees, lots of dead trees. The terrain mostly looks like this just rocks and nowhere to set up the tent. So I found this one. I didn't want a chance going any further. Um, the trees look good. You should always check for dead trees before you set your tent up. Um, there are some that I miss every once in a while, but uh, this area does not look too bad with dead trees. There is this guy over there though. All right. Okay, uh, I apologize for this angle of my phone. I actually have a cracked screen, so uh, if I do this, I get a reflection. Um, but I'm actually looking up at the dead tree right now. I don't think I'm in the fall zone. Um, so I think I'm okay with that where my tent is set up. And uh, so that's it for today. I'm actually pretty happy with today, considering it took me a while to even get into the park and then the confusion with the, the permits. Um, and then this is actually the furthest I've hiked since my injury, so... Mm, sorry. Um, so that's pretty good. And tomorrow I will be taking Woods Creek, Woods Creek, uh, the trail up to the junction with the John Muir Trail, also the Pacific Crest Trail in that section, and taking that southbound towards Ray Lakes.